tonight, problems as the Yacht Club team get friendly and Boss Andy gets tough. Who wants to leave? Does anyone want to leave? Stacy forgets the ex-boyfriend. It's holy as fuck. I'm just going to get it later. Hopefully, he's lucky. <laughs> And Charmaine and Kate when friends fall out. Summer madness in Balaraki, party capital of the Greek islands, where thousands of British workers go every year as paid party animals in search of sun, sex and booze. It's the best job you never had, and this is their summer-long adventure. Welcome to water sports, Balaraki style. Fast, furious, exciting and high energy. Which is more than you can say about Des, the guy who sells them. He's 23 years old, the product of a good school and a good university. He's got a great career ahead of him, but not just yet. For now, he's a PR, a sort of salesman for Gabrielle's water sports on the main beach. When he eventually gets out of bed, that is. I finished university two years ago and I don't really want to be getting a job too soon as it's hard work and out here you work hard but you play hard, it's good fun. You have to have fun when you're young otherwise you're going to regret it when you're 30, 35. You've got kids and you think, look back and you go, what did I do? It's a fun job getting to speak to people every day. Um, it's a nice way to meet ladies especially. <laughs> it's relaxation in the nation. You get rid of your constipation, you get a banana. You have a good laugh, and you have a banana between your legs for now. And I bet you've never had that before. Look at my eyes. I would, my eyes would never lie to you, all right? I'll go on it then. Hey! Lazy, but good at his job. One, two, three. I love banana. I love banana. I love banana. <laughs> OK, you guys ready for your banana? Hey! This is an old England massive, massive banana. OK, hey, let's go. It's like the Temptation Island. I mean, if that is this how it is out here. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any girlfriends. You like it tight, don't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titty everywhere, and it's like difficult to stay away. You know the reputation of beach bands, you know, it's, it's not a good reputation, but you can't help it. You can get naked if you want, you just wave at them, but you can <laughs> join in if you want, you know, join in the fun. Spread the Des loving. It's got to be done. <laughs> I'm Des, take no exception. OK? We'll see you later, girls, all right? Take it easy. There's a culture is here to get drunk, and sex and sun does come into it a lot of the time. Uh, so there's a lot of guys have wanting to have fun, but there's a lot of girls wanting to have fun, so it works both ways, basically. And if you're not up for it, you're not up for it, that's fine. Most people who do come out here, they want to have a good time, so... If they only want to have a good time with me, no problem. <laughs> yeah! And it's good times again at the Yacht Club party night. Their sales team has a new star, 16-year-old Jolene. Right, I just want numbers then. How many have you done today? Jolene? 20 plus 10. Yeah, about 30. 30. 30. You two are together, yeah? So that's 100 you've done, yeah? OK, drinks are on them two then. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's 500 euros. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's well done, guys. Come on. Well done. Right, um, the shit-hot seller is Jolene, I think. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but get some tips off this girl. Sales have boosted uh, twofold since Jolene's joined. I've just finished school and I live on a little island in Scotland called Arran. It's only got a few thousand people on it, about three and a half. It's very quiet. I just fancy something different, a bit of excitement. Falaraki has changed me in about a million, billion ways. It's made me grow up. It's made me see life in a complete different perspective. Arran's tiny, it's in the middle of nowhere. This place is just brilliant. I wish I could bring every single one of my friends here and let them see what it's like. I was due to go in the army in September. I started my selection process, my barb interview and everything. I was really, really looking forward to I thought it was everything I wanted from life. But coming to Falaraki has just given me a completely different view of the world. Right, tonight it's going to be big, it's going to be difficult, all right, and I am feeling like shit. As usual, if it's shit, it's my fault, all right? But I ain't going to take the blame if it's shit going down the bar street. All right, tonight you've got to help me, because normally I'll do it on my own and you lot will be pissed with 
give some punt a go. <laughs> right, tonight it ain't gonna happen. Get as pissed as you want, but you gotta help me tonight. All right, because I'm not in the mood at all. But the party turns sour from the start. The crowd's big, but is it happy? It's shit. It's all right, they're enjoying it. They ain't shit. Half of them are sat down, but the rest of them are enjoying they it. They ain't shit. All you're going to do, you're going to take a banana and then you're going to peel it. You're going to take your banana and start peeling your banana. Get your the banana games feel limp and one party goer decides to entertain the crowd himself. But Andy's not having it. Hey, get off that, I need it for later. Oh. Get off it, mate, come on. Please, I need it for later, it'll get bust. I, I go through a lot of these, I mate. You had a laugh. Mate, I'm having a laugh. I'm having a laugh. You're not having a laugh? I'm having a laugh. There we go. There we go. Eat your bananas. Come on, eat your bananas. Andy reckons Jolene and the other PRs are enjoying the evening too much. What did I say before when we started tonight? I said, I'm feeling like shit, and I really am. I'm feeling it now. I feel like I'm going to pass out. So I'm feeling like shit. I, I asked the guys to get around and help me tonight. Tommy's up there getting pissed. She doesn't want to know. The girls are walking around like, you know, they couldn't give a shit. I'm going to get lynched. We're getting that pissed that they won't remember what happened down here. Tonight is what you make it, OK? If you're in for a good time, we'll have a good time, I promise you. You're all a bit cold now, but by the time we're getting down that town, you'll be going, you'll be coming up to me, pissing you in. Andy, this is the best five euros I've ever spent. Over at Sizzlers, new waitress Stacey has settled in, and she's already got her regulars. Though maybe the food's not the only attraction. Could it be Stacey thereafter? It's the best job in the world, I swear to God. Because you get big groups of men coming in all the time. I like him in a stripy jumper. He's delicious. He came in the other night and he was... Yeah, he's nice. He's nice and good. Adam, Adam on the top table is a bit of a waste. He stays at my pool bar. He's a lifeguard. Raw. He's sexy, he's a dripping wet men. Mm. Does anyone else want another drink? No, no, no. It's holy as fuck. Uh, he's going to get it later. Hopefully. If he's lucky. <laughs> However, the guy in the stripy jumper seems to have a special appeal for Stacey. Apparently, I met him out the other night and I was pissed as a fart and I've been telling one of them something about the barbecue. I don't know what it is, but I was hoping to tell me in front of everyone. Right, fried bread. <laughs> so what exactly did she say about the barbecue? <gasps> I never. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what a dirty little waitress I am. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's filth. I told him, he was out and he was talking to some girl and I went over to him and told him that I wanted him to bend me over that barbecue. <laughs> I don't remember that, I really don't remember that at all. That's shocking, my mother's got a fucking watch in it. <laughs> they better tip me well, I'm going to drown them around the pool tomorrow. If they come back, I'm going to spit in their frappe. Right, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, he's lovely. Mm, mm, makes my leg twitch. <laughs> As Adam departs, Stacey's facing a tough choice. Whose lucky night will it be? Adam's or Tom's? Impossible. Des starts his evening job at the art bar. How are you doing tonight? Fancy a little two for one drink? Yes? Yeah. Yes? Right. Wonderful. Right. Say that to the bar. Get two for one, okay? I have to sit on the wall all night long for three hours. I just sit on a beach all day and speak to people. It's fun, but bar crawl comes in a minute, 70 people, should be funny, but and it's more difficult to get people in when there's a bar crawl in, but we'll see what happens. Get yourselves out here, you lot at the back. One, two, three, hi ho! And the bar crawls on its way to Des, though the guests seem to be doing most of the organising. I should employ a couple of the punters to do a better job than the PRs. Go, 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 go. That's it, guys. One shot and inside. As the bar crawl reaches Art Bar, the PRs really start hitting it hard. Come These free in. shots, for instance, are meant to be for the paying guests. At least someone in the bar's reluctant to have a drink. At the second bar, Matrix, Andy's worst fears are coming true. His team of PRs are now having a better time than the paying guests. <laughs> Andy
Andy's not happy and tries laying down the law. We're not Jackie's bad bro. Right. Hey, make it look like a fucking porno show. I don't want it looking like a porno show. Calm it down. If you're gonna stop it, stop it. Take it to a crowd and stop it. You're going for the wrong point. The girls change tag and start snogging each other. Coming up, the morning after, and Andy's getting tough. What the hell was going on in Matrix? And Stacy hits a problem. I'm looking for the paper, I'd like to meet them, and they're fucking not here. The Yacht Club Bar Crawl. And Boss Andy wants an inquest. We'll start with you, we're all going to see how we got on last time. Jolene, um, what do you think? You got any experience of bar crawls? Um, I think I got way too drunk. <laughs> yeah, I think you got way too drunk as well. Hey, she's sober up next time, not even drinking. What do you think, Matt? Uh, I think it went all right. Could have been better. You think it went all right? Could have been better. You think that was a normal bar crawl for us, going down the street? You think when I left Matrix, you think that was normal for me? No, it was shit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was shit. So it wasn't all right, was it? It was shit. From my point of view, I was appalled. The majority of the staff last night, you let me down, you let yourselves down as well. Disgusted. What the hell was going on in Matrix? What was going on, Jolene? I mean, it's your first night working on a bar crawl with me. Is that how you're going to impress me? Do you know what's happened? The bar owner, Saki, is fuming. Absolutely fuming. The kissing business with um, the other girl and all the rest of it. Absolutely disgusted that I've took a bar crawl in and the staff have not had the decency to respect his uh, place and carried on the way they did. On the tables and all the rest of it. I cannot risk the reputation of this place and myself as well. I look like a bleeding, the leader of a bunch of idiots last night and I'm not going to have it. So unless I ask you, you do not turn up here on the bar crawls. I don't want you here. Does anyone want to leave now? Does any, if you want to leave now, you leave now. Who wants to leave? Does anyone want to leave? Do I think any of them might go? I don't think they've got the balls to move on, to be honest. With everyone else's night a disaster, how did Stacey fare? I was a bit rowdy last night. Sorry, Mum. Where the fuck was you? It was a bit disgusting. <laughs> it was quite a good day at work yesterday. I um, we had a couple of rowdy groups in table 14 with the lovely Tom, <laughs> Mr. Stripey Jumper. Have you ever seen a jawline like it? He was lovely. He just had a bit of a dirty look in his eye, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's showing me his cock. We were sitting down at the um, table, I was writing out their bill. I said, come and talk to me, and he came and had a chat with me. And uh, we had, like, the table numbers there was number six and number 19. And he put them together and was covering it up, and so he said 69. He was looking at me, he was going... Eh? Eh? <laughs> they said they'd be in chaplains. They're not in there. Just take a walk up here. You're never on your own, you fellow Aki. Never. I met some other boys. How's your girlfriend? Hey, How's your girlfriend? More girlfriends love. And we went to bed to see Pure Silk. A little boogie woogie with Billy. Billy. Billy Smith. Oh. I told him that. And all. No. Billy's got a girlfriend, so you have to respect people's um, girlfriends, don't you? Situations. They're all fucking attached. With girlfriends called Charlotte. No. All of them. Who has? Who's got a girlfriend called Charlotte? Oh, everyone. I mean. No, he's got a girlfriend called Carla. Billy has. We're going to the hotel. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. And then I went back to their house afterwards for a few vodka, lemonades and limes. Met some more people and I came home. And that was it. That was the end of my night. I'm knackered. 
I'm really tired today. I don't feel myself today. I don't know why. I do know why, because there was all these lovely, delicious men last night. I didn't meet up with any of them. Next day, Andy's team get a morale boosting day at the beach. Trouble is, they don't want to go, and the beer's out of date. Does that taste any good, that one? Is this out of date? It's just dumped us on the beach. I think it's rubbish. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people windsurfing. Hey? And there's not really much to do here for us, like, apart from drink Andy's out of date beer and watch that prick windsurf. Right, guys, I've sorted you out. You're all having a windsurfing lesson, all of you. You're all having a windsurfing lesson. Yeah, oh, you don't have to, but you want one. Yeah, seriously. Sorry, the guy's called Sam, he's going to be knocking about. I was just slagging you off on camera for bringing us here for you going windsurfing. No, you're going windsurfing as well. We're all going windsurfing. It's my passion, right? You've got to join in. Whilst they were playing on the beach, who was selling tickets for tonight's yacht club party? <laughs> well, we haven't PR'd for no, we're it not. at all. We haven't PR'd for it. Because we've been at the so beach all day. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, no one's turned up. Well, not quite no one. Four people have turned up. It's nothing to do with us that nobody's turned up. Fair enough, a day's notice. Proper players, and we can get out and about and do something. But tonight's just been a laugh. We knew from the start it was going to be nothing. and. It is nothing. Niente. <laughs> A big fat zero. Across town, would-be dancer Charmaine is struggling. Despite two auditions, she can't get a job. Her friend Kate is mystified. Good-looking girl, wicked dancer. What more can you ask for? Kate's also worried that Charmaine and Amy are growing too close and giving her the cold shoulder. A suspicion made worse by the amount of drink they're taking on board. You're in Balaraki. I know. I'll be on my back in a minute. I'm going to get fucking Cara. Excuse the language. Hmm? At KGB, the trouble starts. Hey, 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 hey. What do you want me to do? Get on red carpet. Hey, there I am. Now you have Excuse me. Basically. I'm going over these first, I'm at these slow. Going over them for a few beers. For a reason. I went up to her and I said, Kai, what's your problem? What is your problem? She went, you know what my problem is? My problem is, I'm going to cast her. Emotions fueled by booze are running high. Long time, Lee. I need to know, they're best mate. I need you all to calm down, because that's a friendship, you don't need to lose it. The explosion's just seconds away. Right, right, you can pack your bags and you can go home. I'll phone you by myself tomorrow. I brought you over here. You have cheated me. No shit. You can't do your beer. You cannot handle your beer. Who do you think you are? Show us in a minute. Who do you think you are? Show me in my face. Go on there. Go on there. Go on there. Go on there. What the fuck else going on? Come on, man. No, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck, Sean? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I've tried my hardest to get my cat, I've run her out for her. I've been a really good friend to her. I've tried my hardest. And I can't try any harder than that. She's making life difficult for me. She's not supportive towards me with my dancing. And now I'm is here. She's being funny and I just can't, I can't handle it. I can't handle her as a person. She's too much. The following morning and Charmaine's worried. Kate didn't come home. But when they do meet, it's an uncomfortable encounter. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna shake back off. Ah, oh, it's going to be a long 10 weeks. If I wanted kids, I'll have kids. I haven't got any yet. Mm. I haven't come on to be a babysitter, which is making me bad. But later that day, behind closed doors, Charmaine says sorry to Kate. I am sorry. I will apologise. I saw red mice. I've had a bit to drink. I saw red. I shouldn't have pushed you. And I was in your face. Like, if this happens again, like, if you just tell me straight away, just say Charm. 
like, I feel a bit like I've been left out or somewhere, and I'll sit you down and I'll talk to you, Kate. Instead of letting it build up, it's on never on that top of the game. Apologies made, the matter is laid to rest. Someone else looking to settle unfinished business, Andy. He's got Jolene in his sights. Sorry to do this here with all the people, but there's nowhere else quiet. I'm going to have to let you go, Jolene. Why is that? Because, one, you're never here on time, yeah? Another thing is, every time I come to speak to you down the bar street, but I always find you all sitting down together. But you do nothing but complain at me about everything. I'll do my best for you guys. Well, if I'm to leaving get you, can I go to someone else? That's yeah, it's right. fine. It's fine. Is that all right? Do what you want, yeah. It's fine. You're not going to start saying. No, no, not, not at all. Not at all. Jolene, I don't wish you any. You know, I don't. I just. I hope you uh, get another job and you, you know, you manage to make money. Oh no, I've already been offered two jobs. So I was going. I did not tell you. That's why I'm here today to tell you that. I'll beat you to it, dinner. Never mind. All the best. I do all the best. I am coming back to see you. We've got to say goodbye. All right, we'll come down and see you. No worries. That's because you've sacked you for the camera. I haven't sacked you. So, yeah, take care. Bye. She said she was going to go. Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't. But if she was, it's nice getting there first. So. How long does it take me to find another job? Try 30 seconds. I didn't really give a toss about losing my job. I think the Yacht Club had a lot of potential, but I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere because nobody really tries hard enough. And there's just too much competition out there that's way too much better. What's this cheap for? I do feel quite betrayed by Andy because I did stand by him. I got offered two different jobs, one with Jackie's Bar Call, one with KGB, but I decided to stand with him, stick with him, try and make the Yacht Club something, and then at the end of the day, when he got a few more people, he pushed me to the side, and as far as I'm concerned, I think that's a bit, a bit low of him. Next time, Andy goes for a bit of Turkish delight. I think he looks like a prop. But well, then again, he always looks like a prop. And... I am telling you, mate, that is quick. Club Reps Lee is back to buy a drink. Whether they want it or not. Make some noise for John! That was shit! Make some noise! And Luke unleashes the biggest bar crawl in town. Yeah, you get up, yeah.